watching what the TV announcers ostentatiously refer to as the games of the 31st Olympiad, I can't help but be reminded of my brief, painful, and always humbling career as a diver. The video that you're looking at was before I got any coaching at all. I think in the very first meet that I was ever in, my dad came and shot eight millimeter home movies. The other two divers are Gary Tobian on the springboard and Bob Webster on the 10 meter platform. My sophomore year at Whittier College, I took a water safety instructor course and the guy teaching it was Dr. Johnson, the coach in the swim team. And one day after class, I did a sort of a half-assed one and a half off the springboard and he said, hey, how would you like to be the diver on the swim team? And I said, well, that was half my list. The other one's a jackknife. And uh, he said, well, you know, we can uh, get a book and see how the dives are done. So I said, why the hell not? And signed on and um, started teaching myself to dive. And it was a painful and loud process. Uh, the body of a 190 pound boy hitting the water flat from a three meter springboard makes a lot of noise. My first meet, this is when I started getting coaching because the divers would immediately realize that there was no way I was gonna be able to beat them, so they taught me. A few years later, I was managing a swimming pool in Monterey Park. One day, this guy showed up. His name was Scott Catlett, and we had Duraflex springboards, and Scott wanted to see if he could come in and work out a little bit after the pool closed, so I said, sure, why not? Scott Catlett could really dive. I mean, he was a, turned out to be a world-class diver. I'd never seen such diving in person, only on television watching nationals and Olympic competition. He was in LA that summer to train with Glenn McCormick, who at the time was the premier diving coach of the world, and he missed the 1960 Olympics in platform diving by like one one hundredth of a point or something. In 1960, the United States was so dominant in diving that if they'd have been able to send five or six guys to the Olympics, they would have probably won all the one medal of the first five or six. And so Scott, by definition, was the third best platform diver in the world that summer. So Scott came to the pool almost every afternoon and we gradually got to know one another and developed quite a friendship. We're still friends to this day. Uh, later on that summer, I started going down to the Los Angeles Swim Stadium where he worked out on the platforms with uh, Gary Tobian and um, Bob Webster, who ended up winning the gold medal in the Olympics that year. Gary got second and Gary won uh, the gold medal in the springboard. And so there I was up on the 10 meter platform watching these people throw themselves into the air and going, oh my God, how can anybody ever do this? Well, to make a long story short, they finally shamed me into it. And um, the first dive I did off of the 10 meter platform, I was afraid that I, I would lose control of my body if I dived head first or if I tried to do a somersault or something. So I did a handstand and then just dropped straight into the water. Gary Tobin later told me that was one of the hardest things I could possibly have done. It seemed easy to me because I didn't have to twist or turn or bend or flip or anything. I could just go straight. So anyway, I finally learned to do a, a front one and a half, which is basically you stand on the edge of the thing, you bend in the middle and you fall, and you do a one and a half. So the thing about that is you don't realize how hard the water is when you're hit it from 34 feet. I clobbered myself every single time. I mean, I had, you, you, you hold my hands over the end, I would, I would lose my grip on my hands and hit myself in the head with my hand. I had bruises on the, my hands and on my head from, from hitting the water. Anyway, it was great. I really enjoyed it and I actually was able to dive from a 10 meter platform and I'm kind of proud of that. That was, that was something that I was able to do. At the um, awards banquet for the Letterman at the end of the semester, uh, Dr. Johnson saved me for last and he said, this has been Bryant Whittier College's first diver and he has a very unique style, best described as grandma throwing a wet wash rag off the back porch. <laughs>